I don't get what I want, I get what I need. Every single day I'm heading off to my dream and I get everything that I damn well please. I don't give a damn if you all Hey guys, what's going on? Andy Elliott, one percenter podcast. Now I'm sure you guys are familiar with this guy's face by now. You're like, dude, who is that guy? Oh, that's John with NT Power. So NT Power is a solar installation company that is kicking ass all over the state of Arizona. And they're doing tons of installs uh, for, for a lot of dealers. But really importantly, something here lately that's been really cool is he's been building his own sales org. See, John's always been install and doing the install side, right, which is like the important side. Somebody sells something, he's the one who fulfills it, make the customer happy and does the job. And then everybody gets paid. And this guy's super professional. He's amazing. And no one gets paid till the installation goes down. So John has these great relationships, and he's really good at what he does. But since we've been hanging out, there's a lot of things that's actually happened. And actually, we don't want to talk about business during this. I think we're going to talk about, like, transformation, yeah. right? Because I think that's, like, super powerful. So this, this video will change your life. But to tell you a little bit about him, well, since we've been together, you guys know I'm a sales freak, right? So I'm always like, you know, sell, sell, sells. And he has had bad luck with, like, the, the wrong people selling, so he's always stuck to doing the install side. Yep. But I said, dude, John, all you are is a leader away, right? Because later, leaders are the chokehold to any business, okay? So if you have the right leader and then you build the right culture and the right environment, you'll have the right people. It's all about leadership. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, we started talking about that. You've raised your standards. We'll get into that. You started, and I don't mean like in business-wise, but like individually, like looking into sales as a positive way because you could get burned on sales and you could be like, oh, I don't, I don't like sales anymore. Or I don't like that side. I want to do this side. You've always loved sales because yeah. you've sold, yeah. but I've kind of re-inspired him to, you know, look at a leader. So we found a great leader. Oh my God, such a good leader that now runs his sell side. And then now we have a team of what, 10, 11 people that 15. are on there? Oh, 15. We're at 15 people on his team now. Fire breathing dragons, hungry guys, super fired up and they're crushing it. It is so cool to watch businesses grow. So as me and him get together, um, the business is growing. We're kicking butt. Clearly, you guys know if you're in the state of Arizona, me and him are like brothers. Um, we do business together. You guys can always reach out at any time, and you guys can be close to me. You can be with him. You can make a lot of money. You can have a great life. But let's talk about what else has happened outside of business. And I think I'm going to let you take this from here. Me and you got together, right, yeah. I think, to talk some business. Yep. And then maybe why don't you talk a little bit about kind of what's transpired out of, you know, what we thought was going to happen and what's actually happening. Yeah, for sure. So first off, thank you, Andy. Really, it's, it's amazing always to be here with you, man. Uh, uh, the conversations that we have, it's always, you know, inspiring me to level up, you know. Love it. And uh, just talking about the opportunity with Inti, you know, like literally last week we had this girl. She came and she started literally knocking doors, doing the things that we do, right? And uh, this week she made over eight thousand dollars. That's crazy. You know what I mean, and and she started crying this morning. Actually, I talked to her. Makes me want to cry. <laughs> Shit, dude. <laughs> and she's like, nobody in my family has ever made this amount of money in a month. She came to me saying that. So it's the kind of impact that we can have in people. And obviously, it's not just about money, but money is just uh, something that we. Well, it's, a, it's exciting, you know. Correct. It's exciting, you know. Money is a very good thing. But also you have to grow in all these other areas when you're growing with money right. because money is just a tool to make your life better. Yeah. Money doesn't own you. Money doesn't make you happy. Um, money gives you choices. Yeah. You She's know? only 19, by the way. It, yeah, I was about to say, <laughs> and that's what I was probably going to say is that at, at 19, it, it gives her choices. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, you think, think about $8,000 in one week. Yep. Now, I want to say something real quick because a lot of people may miss this. How long did she have to study and to get ready for this and to train? You know what I mean? A week. Yeah, a week. Yeah. I mean, I was just saying this the other day. People go to college, spend 50 grand to learn how to make 50 grand. I'm not telling you not to go to college, but I'm telling you about the opportunity at hand. Not everybody wants to go to college. Correct. You know, some people are ready to dive into work and to do stuff. And honestly, I want to say this. This young lady, you know, we'll, we'll talk about her in a year from now, where she's at financially, yeah. what's going on in her life, where yeah. she at. But do you know how good of a communicator she's going to be? Oh, amazing. By having all these conversations over the next year. I mean, do you know, like, what her future looks like? The way that she'll be able to talk to people? She's a lot of opportunities. Oh, yeah. my gosh, dude. Like, 
holy cow. Yeah. In this generation right now, the ability to communicate may be the number one most dangerous skill on planet Earth. Yeah. Hey guys, Andy Elliott. I'm sure you heard of the big two to three day event Dean Graciosi and Tony Robbins just released on the internet, right? And by the way, I put that offer below. It's life changing. But guess what? The people that take action on this link below, I'm going to give them $40,000 in training for free. They're giving a money back guarantee offer on Dean Graciosi and Tony Robbins training link below that their training will change your life. If not, they'll give you your money back. I'm adding all these bonuses because I'm partnering with them and I'm giving it all to you for free. And even if you get your money back, you keep all my stuff for free. That's how crazy this is. I'm going to be doing three Zoom calls for one hour, how to build your courses, how to create content, literally how I generate 150 million views on social media every 30 days, how I get 1,500 leads a day organically into my company with zero ad spend or media spend. And by the way, see this book I'm holding in my hand? I'm going to give you this entire book right here. It's how to build a $100 million business and you're going to have it A to Z. It's yours. Guys, I love you. I appreciate you. I'm telling you right now, I changed my life. My family's in a good place. I never Ever imagine that things like this could happen for a guy like me? I don't care what you've been through. Tony Robbins and Dean Graciosi's training below will change your life. I'm going to give you all of this $40,000 in training for free. Better than money back guaranteed. Click on the link below. Change your life now. You know, and she's learning that with you while she's earning. Learning and earning together doesn't go to, doesn't go. Normally, most jobs, you get paid like crap while you learn. Yeah. And then over time, you can start to go up the ladder to learn. She was learning in a week and is earning in a week. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. And, 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 you know, like you were talking about obviously transformation, right? And I just wanted to take the time to thank you personally for all the things you've done for me. And maybe you don't even know what you've done for me. But in I want honesty, you to tell me. <laughs> I, I, I started to tell me and I said, save it, save it for the podcast because I want to know. <laughs> right? I mean, I, I can tell a big difference in you. You know, yeah. if we have a picture you know, if I, you can give one of my media team where they can show you when we first met, yeah. you know, um, you, you, you totally have changed. Recreation. Yeah. I've told you, it's like, do I see a bicep? Band? <laughs> you know, I'm like, I'm like, yeah. you know, I see you doing the work and dude, you're so consistent, but, but you tell me, I don't want to yeah, take so your words. The, the main thing is, you know, before I met you, I was just kind of settling because I had a, you know, good business making money. Mm -hmm. I was just okay with what I was doing, you know? I was saying, you know, things like, hey, we don't want to be the biggest in Arizona. We want to be the best solar company, mm -hmm. you know, stuff like that. But as soon as I met you and basically what you taught me as far as like going after big things, I started saying, hey, we want to be the biggest. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> yeah. And you're going to be. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So those are the things that, you know, just by the proximity. So mind, of my the mindset shift has mindset started Mindset shift. Yeah, exactly. And then obviously, you know, total recreation within myself. Let's talk about that. What does that look like? So uh, obviously, you know, the fitness side of things, mm -hmm. you know, that's huge. You know, what you, you I know you always talk about that. Yeah. And, and in all honesty, at the beginning, you know, just truth be told, I was like, hey, that's BS. You know, like, come on, dude. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. And at the beginning, I was like, nah, I don't have to go to the gym because mm -hmm. I'm a big runner and you know this. So I was yeah. just running, right? But then I started going to the gym. Mm -hmm. And I'm a what, total what, different man. Yeah, what do you feel from the way that you, because you still run. Yeah. Right? But how do you feel from when you now run and lift versus when you just ran? Just uh, and the energy level. The energy level, I feel like just like a different person, literally. Does your body feel different too? Way different. Yeah. Way, way different. That's yeah. so cool, man. And then obviously, you know, people start looking at my wife's like, hey, I like, you know, the way yeah. you're looking and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, you so start that, to feel out. Exactly. Right, yeah. Exactly. And, and then, you know, obviously my wife, you know, she's very happy. The kids are very happy. I'm yeah. like, I'm, I'm, I'm just... You know, on my way there, you know, because I'm still not where I, what I'm supposed to be. Yeah. But uh, I'm in the journey, you know. And that's the other part, too, that you've taught me. It's like, enjoy the journey. Yeah. And I, I really believe in that, too. Dude, listen, I, I want to say this, and this is a good time to say this, is that yeah. a lot of the people, they're, they want to get to the finish line as fast as they can. And it's the finish line that they're thinking about, right? But, dude, that's not where the magic is. The magic is who you become. Yeah. To, to make it to the finish line. Yep. Like, dude, like, really, that's it, man. Like, right now, you're thinking, like, I can't wait till we're number one or we're the biggest or I'm making this much. Yeah. Dude, the person you're becoming right now, Correct. all these hardships you're overcoming, uh, the mistakes. way that, you know, mistakes, but the way that you're, you know, you're staying consistent in yeah. the gym, you know, you keep getting up every day. Yeah. Dude, I've been doing this cold plunge every morning, you know, um, I've and, seen it. <laughs> and it's just, it's just freaking cold, man, you know? <laughs> know, um, but 
but I feel different now. Yeah. And it's just taken me a little bit of time to see the benefits yeah. and to really get addicted to it. You know, the first you know week is like, God, why are we doing this? But now I'm like, dude, I know why we're doing this. Like yeah. I can feel it now. I've stayed in long enough to understand the benefits of something. But the other day I was listening to this podcast real quick uh, that it said, you know, along the lines of the journey, mm -hmm. it says a lot of people are jealous. No, uh, yeah, people are jealous about what you have, but they're not jealous about what got you there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they don't want any of that. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, that's people should be jealous about the journey, you know, because that's what takes you to that point. Yeah. People want what you have, but yeah. once you tell them what it takes, yeah. that's where you lose them. Correct. Okay. Yeah. You know, late nights, yeah. early mornings. Mm -hmm. Doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter how much sleep you get. Discipline. You still get up and do what you say you're going to do. Correct. Um, Stay true. Like, yeah. It's like, you know, I always tell people, I'm like, listen, man, I don't care. See, everybody's in this ritual state. Like, yeah. I've got to do all these things to yeah. get ready to get in the mood to work. Yeah. Dude, I confront work every day. Yeah. I don't care what mood I'm in. Yeah. Dude, I own that shit. Like, that's, that's how I work. And a lot of people, they have these uh, morning extensive long routines they yeah. have to do. I wake up, I do this, I stretch, I do my Pilates. I do, hey, I get you got to feel good and get in the mood. But listen, man, I'm going to tell you this. The people that can work when it's not romantic it's not about and grind. Yeah. I mean, like, look, dude, I love to feel good when I work too. Yeah. But look, dude, sometimes I wake up and, you know, I got a headache and I don't feel like getting up. And, I know. You know, I got 10 problems waiting on my cell phone yeah. and it's 5 a.m. And I say, you know what? Got to get in, got to get in the gym. Got to get my vitamins. Yeah. Got to get my mind right. Yeah. And, dude, like, on those days, on those test days, mm -hmm. you know, that's where you really see you – that's where you, that's where you really start to pass people. Yes. Um, so what it's I learned – right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, because, dude, I want to tell you something, just so you're aware, and me too. You have the same problems. I have the same problems. Our competition has the same problems. Okay? Like, we may think, like, God, man, I've got problems. Dude, your competition has the same problems you have. Yeah. It's, it's just who can work – harder who can go through them harder who yeah. can keep staying more consistent yeah. through those problems and what i learned is that most people when they when they get thrown off and things don't feel good and things get hard they don't confront the hard work anymore they don't push through it they don't feel like they're in the mood so then they try to say you know hey man i'm going to take a day off you know or i'm going to rest dude you don't want to do that yeah. that's the day that someone catches you yeah. and i think that truly we got through to where we're at now by just relentless bullheaded yeah. work don't care don't listen to our feelings yeah. like honestly i'll tell you this in the yeah. beginning i started to have all these feelings about like all the hard work i was putting in yeah. i just don't care anymore yeah i just do it i do it no matter what hey i'm yeah. passionate about what i do i love what yeah. i do i feel purpose in what i do but i'm not gonna let my feelings if i listen to me i wouldn't be successful <laughs> that's why i tell yeah. myself i have to yeah. talk to me i'm yeah. like you're gonna do this yeah you're gonna shut your mouth you're going to go get this done. That's kind of how my day goes. I'm like coaching myself like that. But if I was like, how do I feel? I would never work. Yeah. You know, because internally, like, we're all lazy. And, and the God of this generation is comfort. Yeah. It really is. I mean, yeah, we have Grubhub. We have Uber Eats. It's, we... e it's easy. It's easy and comfort. <laughs> Super easy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so that's the reason why not many people are winning because everybody wants to be comfortable. Everybody, and so, everybody wants to be too comfortable. You know, it's like... Uh, cancel culture, all this stuff that like nobody can speak up, and and everybody's afraid to you know basically we're all walking on eggshells. And yeah, that's a big problem. You yeah, know? and the hard stuff pays off. Let me ask you a question: Do you and your wife stay closer when everything's just super easy, or do you stay closer when you guys have some hardship come up, the and then around. you guys come together yeah. and get through it together? Yeah, that's when you fall more in love with each yeah. other. That's when you're reminded she's truly your best friend. Yeah, I remember when we you know? actually, for work, we had to move to Idaho. Yeah. And we moved to Idaho, you know, no, nobody there. And nobody wants we, to go yeah, to Idaho. No, <laughs> I know. Yeah. So we, have, we didn't have any family there. Didn't, she didn't have any family. I didn't have any family there. So we got very, very close uh, at that time. I was working really hard mm -hmm. because it was like one of those where I was kind of like break it or make it kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I was like the regional manager over, the, over that section. Uh, for for the solar company mm -hmm. and uh, I wasn't seeing her too much but then we were getting stronger when when I was able to actually talk to her and connect with her mm -hmm. if that makes sense because yeah, you guys had a struggle together correct yeah I'll tell everybody this and and we'll keep rolling here on transformation but so in 2008 remember the economy crash yep. 
right? Yep. Um, me and Jacqueline were building a million dollar house yep. on this it, in Oklahoma. Yeah. That was a lot, right? Like you have to understand, <laughs> right? We were about to break ground. We had this two hundred thousand dollar piece of land that we paid off. Now, look, I was, I was uh, in my twenties. Mm -hmm. She was in her twenties. So we're going back twenty yeah, years yeah, ago yeah. almost, right? So remember this. I'm let's say I'm twenty six. She's twenty four. Yeah. Okay. Um, we're sitting there. We've got this two hundred grand piece of land. We've got these million dollar plans. Yeah. Um, we've got. Uh, I, I had a two hundred fifty thousand dollar boat yeah. at a big, uh, big Baja yacht. Yeah. Freaking shoot a 34 it was like a 34 foot twin engine boat that I, I love taking out on the lake we had all these toys i'd like big remember the the h hummer trucks yeah the trucks yeah. it was mickey Tom, thompson super swamper wills west coast chopper decked out remember west coast chopper back in yeah. the day yeah. blacked out truck tricked out like all lifted monster tonka toy had all these you know corvettes we had all these you know kind of mid-20 cool shit mm -hmm. And then overnight, remember all the heavies, mm -hmm. how they got cut in half? I mean, anything, I mean, like an automotive mm -hmm. that had a V8 engine was worth half the money immediately. We had a brand new Tahoe, uh, 2008, brand new, new body style Tahoe. Had all these things, uh, four wheel drive lifted. We just, I could, as you picture our life, right? Had two other houses. Me and Jackie were just, we had a lot of equity. We didn't have a lot of cash. Yeah, yeah. But we, because we were paying off everything. Yeah. And then overnight, Nothing was worth anything. Yeah. Here's Andy. Five years ago, he was a car salesman. He went to one of our first events we first started, quit selling cars. He's one of the fastest growing sales training organizations in the country. He's this year on target, he tells us to do $100 million in revenue. That's extreme. Hey guys, you just heard it from Tony Robbins himself. He just said it. Literally a $100 million business we built in the last four years from Dean Graciosi and Tony Robbins freaking training. It's your turn right now. They just released an offer to the world, which you can click the link below and get right now, but stop because I'm gonna give you a better than money back guarantee and I'm adding all kinds of bonuses to it, all right? So holding in my hand right now is a book. It's called the $100 million A to Z Andy Elliott build. This is the empire build. You want a $10 million business? Cool. You want to build a hundred? I've got it per year and I'll give it to you on my way to a billion. It'll teach you how to generate 150 million views every 30 days on social media. It'll show you how to build a sales team. I'm going to teach you how to become the world's greatest salesperson. Three hours of Zoom training, me teaching you how to I create my courses. How do I create my memberships? How do I form and make my offers? I'm going to show you how to do it. If you can make one hour a week, one hour a week work, I can show you how to make an additional hundred grand a week. So I love you guys. I'm gonna give you all these bonuses, literally $40,000 is in bonuses for free, money back guarantee, better than money back, which means even if you return Dean's and Tony's training that you buy below, even if you return it, you get to keep all mine for free, okay? You can't beat that anywhere in the world. It worked for me, it's gonna work for you. Click on the link below, we'll get you guys set up now. Let's change your family's life. And that was the first real like reality check we had. Mm -hmm. um, that piece of land that was 200 grand was worth like, 30 grand. Wow. Like nobody went. Oh, at a lake house. It was a $400,000 lake. I had a guy offer me a month before the crash, 400,000 for my lake house, wow. which I loved it. And, um, I think I owed like 110 grand on it. Mm -hmm. And literally I told them no, cause I was kind of contemplating cause mm -hmm. the properties were going up. I was going to hold it. You know, I wasn't sure. And it was a cash offer. I told them no. And, uh, two months later, I ended up putting it on the market at market after everything crashed. But I'm gonna tell you what me and Jackie did. Um, and I sold it for 120 grand. Yeah, and wow. just was unaware of what a market could do. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Which everybody knows the 2008 yeah. market when it crashed. Yeah. So when all this happened, me and Jackie had about what we thought was a million in equity mm -hmm. to literally selling everything and netting about 50 grand cash. Wow. Um, in her 20s, it was a hard pill to swallow. Yeah. So me and her said, F everything. <laughs> we moved from the city yeah. to Lake Texoma, a little lake place. Yeah. And we stayed there for two years and we decided um, to be close as a family, go to the lake all the time. I worked my ass off. I traveled into the city yeah. and came back in. But because we were away from the rest of the world, we left all our friends. Yes. We left everybody we knew. We knew no one. That's huge. And so kind of like you guys moving to Idaho, um, we had our son. Me and her got so close. We honestly didn't have very much money at that point in our time in our life. Jackie made beans and rice every night, mm -hmm. and we would probably eat meat once a week. Mm -hmm. um, we would run every morning. We'd exercise. We'd work mm -hmm. out. We were just together. Yeah. We were broke. Yeah. 
we were broke together. Yep. We were out in the middle of nowhere. We were away from everyone. And we had an opportunity for, for me and her to really get to know each other. Yeah, and that's when you get closer to yeah. people. That, I think, I'll give credit for that time to be able to allow us to be to, able to do what we do today. Oh, yeah. So I want to say, anytime you can suffer with someone, you and that person become really, really strong. So um, anyways, I'm talking about your transformation real quick because yes. this is big. Um, let's talk about some stuff, like some things that you're doing that's totally changing your life. And then also I want you to tell me about this, this girl, this 19-year-old right yeah did yeah. you just run into her and offer her a job or what well she actually came through the door because obviously you know this is a part of the transformation that i really wanted to talk about uh -huh. is actually becoming a magnet right yeah when you transform when you become amazing like at every aspect of your life like when you're growing exactly yeah. you attract the i think you can see people. it you can sense it on people when they're when they're when they're growing when they're changing when they're hungry exactly. you know what i mean like exactly. they have good vibes that kick off them. Yep. And, and she knew that she wanted to be in solar because she had a couple of friends that were making good money. Mm -hmm. So she was interviewing with a few solar companies. So when she actually came to us, she really liked what she saw. Yeah. You know, your, your culture. Exactly. Our culture. Yeah. I want to meet her. <laughs> yes. A hundred percent. Yeah. And uh, I think you're going to meet her this weekend. Actually. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So and then obviously, you know, she just said, OK, I'm going to do this. You know, we actually showed her. Uh, what how much money she can make and but not only that it's about the transformation mm -hmm. and also the culture like be, being about uh, uh, around like-minded individuals hey guys sorry to interrupt the podcast as you're listening to my man jonathan right now clearly you can tell he's a great leader he's an awesome business owner and he loves to help people transform their lives and make money just like he's doing okay so if you're like dude man i need a great leader i need a great organization i'm looking to change my life like for real man look to the left look to the right like do you see anybody else that wants to see you be better most people don't have anyone like that in their life. Jonathan's looking for people that want to go to the next level, not only financially, but like transformationally in every area of life, raising your standards. If that's you, click the link below. You're going to see a little description box below in the YouTube video. Just click on the link. You're going to answer some questions. You're going to send over a little video. And if you're serious about a new life, he'll reach out to you in the next 24 hours. You guys can make a plan. Let's kick some ass. Let's get back to the video. And that's huge, you know. That's it's another huge. thing about transformation. It's like you cannot transform if you're not around the people that you, how you want to become or what you want to become. Yeah. Because if you're around people that are, you know, not eating right, not running, not going to the gym, you're going to be that 100%. And we all know that principle. Yeah, lazy people are around lazy people. Yeah. I've never seen a lazy person hang out with a very active, hardworking person. They don't. Yeah. They don't. Yeah, you, you, you tend to go find your flock. You find yes, your people. Yes, exactly. Yeah, you find your, your circle. And, 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 you know, like a lot of the people, obviously, you know, they, they say it in different ways and stuff like that. And a lot of people might think, oh, that's cliche. Mm. But it isn't. Mm. You know, it, <laughs> it's the truth. Yeah. It is 100% truth. Yeah, you, you want to be around people that remind you of who you want to be. Exactly. Yeah. You know, that push you and obviously that you can be, be able to transform. And make you uncomfortable. Exactly. We just had a meeting this morning about... The power of having friends who make you uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can tell when someone's around you and you make them uncomfortable and then they don't want to be around you no more. Yeah. That's not the right friend for you. It's not. But when you're around somebody that makes you uncomfortable and you're like, dude, I need to lean into this guy. Yep. Every time I'm around this guy, honestly, I hate it, but I love it because I grow. Yeah. That's the right friend for you. Yeah. That's the right company for you. 100%. Yeah. You know, so... Obviously, when it comes to transformation, like I'm really passionate about, you know, obviously, you know, learning and becoming better because mm -hmm. uh, I've been reading a lot of books, uh, you know, throughout my career and uh, especially about, you know, my sales and, and, and solar construction. Mm -hmm. uh, but the main thing has been, you know, it's like, what are these people doing and, and really being in the right rooms, too, you mm -hmm. know, Cheers. so all those things, all those things have changed me 100 percent. And now I'm really not really struggling to find those people. They just come to me. I was talking about being a magnet. I told you, know? you that was going to happen. Yes. Remember that in the beginning? Yes, you did. I said, I said, you can't give somebody something you don't have, and yep. you can't ask someone else to become something you're not. Yep. I said, so once you, and I told you this journey would be that you're going to transform. Yep. And, dude, like, I'm on my fourth year of transformation, yep. and each year I was getting a little closer to the person that I really wanted to be. Yep. Now I am the person that I always wanted to be, but yeah. now I want more. Yeah. Now I'm like dialing this in, dialing that yeah. in, dialing this in, like yeah. I'm going to the next level. But like, I just remember, man, that like, like I, 
the old me couldn't have up done this. Yeah. The old me couldn't have been here with you. The old me, this wasn't possible. And so I needed to become that person. And I had a lot of work to do on myself. Yeah. And when you say transformation, like what I hear you saying is that you're just working on yourself every day. Yeah. Right. It's Isn't all that, about that. Like you put God first, you put yourself first. Yeah. Everything else comes into play. But in that crazy though, that if you want to make more money, yeah. you don't actually work harder on your job. No. You work harder on yourself. yourself. Isn't that crazy? I mean, dude, no one ever I, taught I'm us. living proof of that. I know. Over the last six months, literally. Yeah, I know. Since That's I what I'm saying. You. Like, isn't that crazy, though? <laughs> it like, is crazy. Like, like it, it almost sounds like, you know, I mean, here we are. We got all these people. Yeah. Um, I had a guy ask me the other day. He goes, what's the difference between me going to your deal or Grant Cardone's deal or whatever? And I'm just because. Way different. Well, because we, I've been up to both. So. Yeah, well, we get, we get people that ask because they don't know, right? <laughs> and I said, well, I said, number one, if you come here with me, I'll be here. You'll meet me. Number two, if you go to Grant Cardone's, you'll probably meet one of his guys. Yeah. Second thing is, no, and I love Grant. Yeah. Like, that's not a problem. Yeah. But I want to tell you, like, you'll meet me. Like, that's you'll the truth. see that's me. The truth, yeah. yeah. So, like, that would be one difference. But the second difference is, is that I will not just talk business with you. Yeah. I will talk about God. Yeah. I will talk about fitness. Yeah. I will talk about looking in the mirror and liking who the hell you are. I will talk about I will talk about the value that you have with the relationships with the people that you love. I will talk about that your personal life will be absolute the superpower to blow your business up. Dude, think about this. We got two people here. This person, this guy here has a badass personal life right? Like a kick-ass personal life. He's in love with his wife. He's on fire with his kids. He's going to the gym. He likes who he is. And then he comes to work. Bam! He's blowing it up. Yeah. This guy, he's not taking care of his family like he should. He's, he's, he's so consumed with trying to make it in business. He's not paying attention to his kids. So he's not paying attention to he's his health. donuts. Right. <laughs> so he's eating shit, but he, he looks in the mirror and he's starting to go numb. He doesn't yeah. recognize himself anymore. Yeah. So his family life is slipping, which yeah. you can under you know this. His family life is slipping. We yeah. all know this. And so all he does is because his family's life is slipping, they're starting to resent him. They're yeah. starting to, 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 to feel distance from him. They're starting to disconnect from him. So the only thing that he needs to know to, to, to do is to go work harder. Yeah. So then he pushes to work as hard as he can until one day he wakes up and his family's completely out of the picture. And then he realizes he, he hates his job. He's burned out. He has no purpose, and his family isn't there. It's a rat race. It's a rat race, you know. This uh, is the secret. <laughs> and that's the thing that threw me off, in all honesty, when I talked to you first. When you're, you're not really talking business, I was like, this guy, like, I'm coming for, like, a business coaching session, and he's not talking business. Yeah. What's up with that? But at the end of the conversation, actually, that's what got me. Because I was like, he's right. Yeah. I'm not doing any of those things. Or, you know, maybe I'm doing it, but mediocre. Yeah. You know? I need to excel on all those aspects of my life to be able to excel in business. And, you know, like that is the main thing. Every morning I wake up, I read scriptures, you know, with my mm -hmm. kids. I, uh, you know, go to the gym. I have uh, quality time with my wife. Mm -hmm. And then I'm rolling in the office, you know, by 930. Right crushing the day. Yeah, and crushing the day. You yeah. Know? So, but obviously, you know, like it's a big morning, right? It's like I've done a lot through mm -hmm. my morning. And I don't feel bad, you know, and, and, and no, I'm, I'm driving my kids to school. You, you've, you're how old are you? Uh, 36. You're 36. You've worked for, let's say, 20 years, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. To be able to go into work at 930 now. Yeah. Like some people hear that and yeah. they're like, man, this guy didn't go work till 930. <laughs> yeah, work 20 years. But okay. Here, but here's the other thing too, though. Like. There is a misconception as far as like, hey, I cannot, you know, afford to go work to work at 930. I'll have a, an 8 to 5 or whatever, mm -hmm. right? Uh, I, I don't have time to go to the gym. Mm -hmm. I don't have time. But that's the thing. You have to make time. Yeah. You know, whether that is, you know, maybe I understand like, hey. It's well, it's true. either you own time or time owns you. Exactly. Yeah. You know, and you make it happen, mm -hmm. you know. So at the end of the day, I'm like, I'm always on, by the way. Like, it's like while I'm doing some of these things, you know, I'm I like answering phone calls and, and working. Mm -hmm. uh, but bottom line is. If I focus on myself, I know that I'm going to crush it in business. People are going to be attracted to me. They're going to come to me. They know. Also, I'm going to make way less mistakes. Yeah. I'm more effective. Yeah, you're super sharp. More efficient. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You know, it's yeah. all about the output, yeah. not about the time, you know? Yeah, I was just explaining that to somebody out. I think, was you on that meeting when I was talking about output per minute? Yes. Yeah, I was saying, dude, like, if you take 
two people, if I could just watch them work all day long and I could just take the minutes that they work and I could look at the output they put in per minute, like that really determines like what's actually happening. Yeah. That's like the real work, right? Yeah. Um, I told my guys, I'm like, you may come into work at 6 a.m. and you may leave at 9 o'clock at night, yeah. but that doesn't mean anything to me. Yeah. It's output per minute. Yeah. That's what matters. 60 minutes in an hour, how you work 60 minutes in that hour, that's what matters. And it's also a concept, you know, the whole uh, rich dad, poor dad, right? Mm. Uh, he talks about giving 10% to charity, no matter how much money you have, because a lot of people say, hey, once I'm, you know, once I'm a, I'm a millionaire, I can start giving back. Yeah, you do it now. And where that's you're broke. wrong. Exactly. You do it while you're broke. It, you do it exactly. Yeah. If you won't give when you, if you won't give when you're broke, you're damn sure not going to give when you're rich. Exactly. Yeah. No, yeah. it's it's because it's all relevant, <laughs> right? If I got a thousand, I give a hundred. If I get a hundred thousand, yeah, it's just it's a, it's the same deal. I give ten thousand. It's exactly. It doesn't the same matter. Deal. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and by the way, just anybody listening right now. It's a huge principle. I started applying it, giving yeah. back at least 10% of your income. Yeah. Huge. It, it changed my life. Yeah. I, I want to tell you, uh, this is cool because, you know, podcasts are about stories, Correct. right? They help people understand or really to see real life, how people are living, what they're doing. And it really helps them process their own life. Mm -hmm. Me and Jackie were at a point. We lived in Tulsa, Oklahoma. We were broke. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be honest with you. We were mm -hmm. freaking broke, dude. Um, things were hard. I was trying to start my training program. Um, and this was in 2011, yeah. right? I, I had had a gap between going to this company and going to this company, and I wanted to start my training program. And I was trying to figure out how to do it for the first time, but then I ended up going back to a dealership. It's mm -hmm. like I was for sale, so yeah, I went yeah, back yeah. to work. Yeah. But then in 2019, I said, no, 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 no. Like, I'm going to make this work this yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. But in 2011, we were sitting in church together, and I shouldn't be in charge of the money. <laughs> Because I'm not very good at it, which you already know. Yeah. You don't talk money with me. You talk money in my yeah, wife. Yeah, that's right. Um, she, uh, they were passing around the offering bu buckets, yeah. right? And I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, I think maybe we, I don't know, had a couple grand in our account, yeah. right? Like everybody can remember having a couple grand in their account. Yeah. And I, uh, they were, they, I saw the bucket coming down. Yeah. And, you know, I'm starting to get anxiety. Like, <laughs> like what am I going to put in there? What am I going to do? And my wife's like, and I'm like, hey, baby, you want to? Like we're gonna like we always put money in there, but I'm yeah. like, how, how much do you want to put in? And she's like, I, you know, I don't know, Andy. Just you know, here. And she just handed me the checkbook, yeah. right? And so I'm sitting. She there. put it on you. And you know, I shouldn't have a checkbook in my hand, <laughs> right? And so I'm sitting there, and I'm like, and dude, I'm not joking. You can go ask her. I wrote ten thousand dollars. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the podcast. As you're listening to my man Jonathan right now, clearly you can tell he's a great leader, he's an awesome business owner, and he loves to help people transform their lives and make money, just like he's doing, okay? So if you're like, dude, man, I need a great leader, I need a great organization, I'm looking to change my life. Like for real, man, look to the left, look to the right. Like, do you see anybody else that wants to see you be better? Most people don't have anyone like that in their life. Jonathan's looking for people that want to go to the next level, not only financially, but like transformationally in every area of life, raising your standards. If that's you, click the link below. You're going to see it a little description box below in the YouTube video. Just click on the link. You're going to answer some questions. You're going to send over a little video. And if you're serious about a new life, he'll reach out to you in the next 24 hours. You guys can make a plan. Let's kick some ass. Let's get back to the video. And I want to tell you this. Like, I, wow. I just, I, I needed to just give everything. Yeah. Like I was ready to just. Yeah. To, to just, there's this, like, just, That's just powerful. trust, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And, uh, anyways, but I wrote it and I put it in there and there's a carbon copy yeah. and Jackie puts it back in her purse and then out to the car, she goes, you gave $10,000. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, babe, I, uh, you know, I, you gave me the checkbook. <laughs> yeah. And she goes, Andy, we don't even have enough money in our account yeah. to handle that. Yeah. She goes, I'm going to have to go into the kid's account and transfer money over yeah. the kid's account. Yeah. And we don't mess with the kid's account. Yeah. And I'm like, babe, I didn't know what to do. I was, he was talking about like giving all I had yeah. and I don't know how much we have. So I just like gave <laughs> as much as I thought, babe, I don't know. I just want to trust. Yeah. We got into a huge fight. Not that yeah. Jack, Jackie would have given a hundred grand. Yeah. Jackie just says, that's not how money works. You could have given all the money you had, but we gave more than we had. Yeah. Right. And we had to go into the kid's account yeah. and we don't do that. And so that day we had to, because I'm irresponsible. <laughs> but the next day, freaking crazy. Yeah. I had a guy call me and go, Hey, 
We'll pay you $20,000 a month just to stop by the dealership twice, right? Which is every other Monday yeah. and train our team for two hours. And it was five minutes Whoa. from the house. Amazing. And I picked that account up. This is crazy. Yeah. The next day I went over and met that guy. Yeah. That guy referred me to his friend. Yeah. They paid me 20,000 wow. to go do. And I did that. I did him on Monday yeah. or, and then I did them on Tuesday. Yeah. And then about the end of the week, I had another guy reach out and he was like, I'll pay you 15 grand to come oh. by on Fridays. Yeah. We were making, you know, 55,000, 60,000 a month um, and working a couple, but, but I just remembered giving it all. Um, crazy thing is, um, we did that for a while. I wasn't, I don't think I was mature enough at that time to do that, right? Um, I was, I was still, I was, st I was still like thinking that I could make more in a dealership. Mm -hmm. And instead mm -hmm. of me thinking about growing a business, mm -hmm. you know, cause you're a business owner. Mm -hmm. You could you could shut your company down now and go to work for someone, mm -hmm. and you could go knock doors and go hit as hard as you want, yep. or go do whatever, and you might be able to make more than you can make now as an owner. Yep. But as an owner, you're building something, yep. right? As an as an employee, I'm not saying not building something, yeah. but you're going to make money. Correct. And and I, and I wasn't mature enough to build anything at that time. I I wasn't. My mind wasn't ready to build. My mind was ready to earn. Yeah. Does that make sense? And something I want to say about that, Andy, it's like. A lot of people listening might be like, that's a crazy story. That's never happened to me. That's uh, almost made up. But oh, it, it was God. It had nothing to do I with know, me. I know. C yeah. Correct. But it happened to you, right? Yeah. So here's the deal, though. It only happened to you because you had the faith to yeah. put it in first. Yeah. And that's the thing. This is, these stories will never happen to you if you don't have that first step. Yeah, you can't give and blind, not have basically, the faith. Exactly. Yeah, it's like, it's like, babe, I'm going to give this 10 grand because I watch this podcast. It won't with Andy. happen to you. Yeah, my wife used to talk about the prayer of faith, yeah. which is like knowing that if we, well, we would say thank you. And we used to pray before our son was born, thank you, God, for giving us a healthy son. Mm -hmm. It's like, thanking yes. for what hasn't come but thinking that it's come exactly it's like the prayer of faith right uh -huh. and uh anyways we became addicted yeah we gave 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 <laughs> we became those people that weren't addicted giving to ch charity donations <laughs> truly to it's just amazing, yeah. giving and, and emptying out yeah and uh we, we had this church we were going to it's called life church yeah. there's a pastor's name pastor craig rochelle uh -huh. And it's called Life Church, one of the biggest, the online Bible app, Life Church. It's huge. It's all over the world. Largest online church in the world. Yeah. He's from Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. we, we're giving in this church in Moore, Oklahoma, right? And now, by the way, my wife, now she's, she's like, we're going to give. Yeah. And not, not for this, but we understood now the power of giving. Yeah. And who's in charge ultimately? Correct. Because we aren't. My wife was, and this, and I'm, I'm making more money. I'm in a car dealership. My wife was writing ten thousand dollar checks a week in the church. Yeah. Um, we were giving so much. Yeah. We probably gave a half a million dollars um, over that that uh, that year. Mm -hmm. um, and at the end of the year, the the church, the the head preacher guy came yeah. up to us, yeah. and he goes, "Hey, we're inviting two people. There's, there's thirty five hundred people in the church," and he goes, "We're inviting two people." to uh to this deal with the main preacher craig rochelle mm -hmm. which is the head preacher of all the churches mm -hmm. and we're going to his house or whatever and we're like why are we getting invited <laughs> like we don't even we don't serve we just yeah. we just i mean we come here and we yeah. we learn and you're part of the congregation yeah. you know and we give money but we i don't even, and i don't even know what we give my wife yeah. just gives it right yeah. and they're like you were one of the top two givers in the whole church yeah. and i'm like oh my god and never would I think that we would do that, but we we gave so freely because we just trusted, right? Yeah. And ever since that day, we still do the same thing. We we give, 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 give. But when we went there, we watched all these people giving, and all the people that were giving had the most craziest stories. Most of them exactly. weren't givers, and they gave once, and they gave, and they got more peace. They got healed. Something happened. They became addicted. They just, they give it away. They don't even care. They're not afraid to go broke. They're not worried about nothing. They live in absolute peace. And so when you said the most amazing feeling is tithing, yeah. um, it's really hard to believe, but I will tell you, God is real. Yeah. He's massive. He can turn the, the dead and make them alive. Yeah. He can, it's crazy, man. So, and, and by the way, I think though, so like, changing people the transformation yeah. right believing that you can be better the faith that there's something greater on yeah. the other side of 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 this discomfort mm -hmm. um 
it's all faith, man. Dude, and God made all, us resilient. A hundred percent faith. You know, you, you always go like you probably have, maybe you don't have those kind of friends, but a lot of people I know you guys have, do you guys have that kind of friend where you go to their house, they invite you to like a party and there's no, like they're saying that there's good, good steak, mm -hmm. but there's not enough, you know, or there's, uh, you know, I don't know, whatever it is, drinks, but there's not enough because mm -hmm. they are very greedy or stingy with what they're giving. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Our goal every, is you will not give us. Exactly. You know, every yeah. time somebody comes to my house, I'm always like, hey, let's buy like, okay, how many people? 30? Let's buy. 60. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. You know? My wife, her fear is someone not eating. 100%. Yeah. yeah. My, my wife's yes. fear is someone being left out. Yeah. Um, Anyways, it's just, it, but, but that but is because it's, it's not about just, it's, that. The it's about exactly yeah, yeah, the it's, giving. yeah, it, it has, it has no, listen, money gives you options, mm -hmm. but I will tell you that you gave and that's how you got money and that's how you have options. And once, once you've been given a window of an opportunity, don't think for a second that that opportunity came without God being involved. Right. 100%. Yeah. So like you didn't do it. And by the way, as fast as it came, as fast as it can go. It can go. I tell people all the time, I say, guys, <laughs> listen, my goal is to stay in business for 20 years. Yeah. And I know what got us here. Yeah. God. So yeah. that's why if you look at our core values, it always says, number one, trust in God. Yep. It's the first one. And then the rest roll. And um, that's yeah. that's number one, man. And, and that's what I said. Anybody that I interviewed to come into my company, I always always tell them this you know it's like hey faith is the first thing that's actually our core value yeah we too. can work through everything else we can work through everything but you have to have faith you yeah know? And, yeah and understand that there is a bigger picture for all of us yeah you, you know? got to live for something bigger than yourself yeah because we're gonna have i know in your position for example i tell them man i know in your position you have a lot of problems and you're gonna have to have that faith that somehow some way there's going to be a miracle that's going to happen. Mm -hmm. And it, it could be a lawsuit. It could be anything, right? It could be that, anything. Exactly. You have no idea. Curve we balls, have no idea. <laughs> the devil has a shed full of yes. tools. Yes. Yes. And, you know, <laughs> devastation is his favorite one. And he's always trying to get people to get caught off track, you yeah. know. But if you know that there's a bigger thing, you know, Patrick yeah. David talks about that because he actually didn't believe for a, a, a period of his life. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then he talks about, in business specifically, you know, he talks about... Being an entrepreneur is uh, jumping off a cliff and building the airplane on the way down. <laughs> mm, that's good. That's yeah. the truth. And that's the faith. Again, yeah. going back to that faith. I've been building this airplane. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're still on the way down. Yeah, all of us are. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, okay, guys. So listen. So here's what we want to do. Number one, you guys have met my friend John. You guys have met him before. You guys see, like, this conversation this is cool. Like, think about who you work for now. Think about the people you're around now. You know. Do they sound like this? Like, this, this is cool. Yeah. Like, this is awesome. Um, you guys need to know, John is always looking everywhere he goes, to the gym, grocery store, church. He, being around me, he bumps into people all the time that are looking for great earning opportunities, that are looking for a great leader, looking for a great organization. Honestly, I know this sounds kind of weird, but like, just, it's not weird, but it's just like, maybe to you it sounds weird. They're just looking for a family. Yeah. To, to bring their family into. Mm -hmm. And, um, and they're looking for a place that they can settle in, call it a career, not a game, not a season, but a career and build something big. And he's building an empire. He's doing very well. And his people are doing well, very well. Just like you talked about the girl that just started made eight grand her first week. Okay. So anyways, through this time, you guys know, there's always a link in the description box below where if you are like, dude, I like John, I'd love for him to reach out to me. He'll personally reach out to you in the next 24 hours. He has an amazing team. He's with me all the time. I train all his people. We're always super close. So we love you guys. We appreciate it. John, if they want to follow you on social media, where do they go follow you at? Yeah, John, J-O-N underscore Clavijo, C-L-A-V-I-J-O. Okay. John, I appreciate you, brother. Hey, thank hey, you I so much. I love you, man. We appreciate talked about you. transformation. We talked about earning opportunity. We talked about like, man, we talked about God, right? Yeah. Like we got into that. And um, I think there was something today that will truly change your life. And if there was something today that made you think like, damn, man, you know, maybe it's time for a change. If you think that this is the change, John would love you have on, have you on his team. So you guys, hey, have a blessed day. We'll see you guys in the future and see you in the next podcast. Hey guys, I just want to tell you the true one percenters, you made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping 
I'll see you soon. And I promise you that my skills are getting sharper, so I'm gonna get charted. Can't be guarded. Nah, I'm the one to get retarded. Get the